what's up I'm Nizio Cole and a few days ago the Assassin's Creed crossover for Watch Dogs Legion was finally released and here is my review. So this probably won't be as in-depth as Bloodline or the main game because quite frankly there just wasn't as much content as in the, the other DLCs or or in the game but I think this was a nice DLC. It kind of reminded me of Human Conditions from the second game. It had a few missions to go with it. It was pretty short, but I think honestly it was worth the money. I'm trying to keep this spoiler free because I've never played Assassin's Creed, so I don't necessarily know what's a spoiler and what's not a spoiler, so I'll just, I'll kind of talk about it in a roundabout-ish way. I think Darcy is overall a, a pretty good character. I really liked her abilities and her gadgets. The poison dart gadget is pretty cool because it can kind of make the enemy go crazy when you shoot it at them. And the other gun is just a regular gun, but her AR cloaking thing, I don't even know if it's like AR, but it's just like a cloaking power that she has. That one is pretty cool. That's honestly probably my favorite and it lasts for quite a long time. So honestly, I love all of her abilities. I think the story was a little short, but I, I like the main mission that you had to do. And now that all three DLCs have come out, I can pretty confidently recommend the season pass. If not for Darcy, if not for Mina, definitely do it for Bloodline. For me, it honestly would have been fine if it was just Bloodline, but the fact that Mina and Darcy are also included with the season pass is just amazing. And obviously, I, there's nothing confirmed, but they do have the potential to add more DLC in the future, and that would also be underneath the season pass. Quick, I just wanted to talk about Resistance, Extraction, and Invasion as well, because those were also pretty big in that update. So Resistance mode is basically a super ultra hard mode for Watch Dogs Legion. It does feel a lot more like you're actually in a Resistance. I love the feature of the checkpoints always being on. It makes it so you actually have to take alternate routes and, you know, trying to avoid Albion, the drones, and and the personnel. And the fact that permadeath is always on just raises the stakes that much more. And there are a bunch of other stuff in resistance mode. I talked about it all in my last video. If you wanna go check that out, link will be in the description. Now, invasion and extraction. Honestly, invasion was kind of a disappointment. It really doesn't feel like it did in the previous two games. Personally, I think Watch Dogs 2 had the best version of Invasion, and just the fact that it's not in your single player game, like online and single player are two different modes now, just kind of kills the vibe. Like I actually have to physically go into online in order to invade someone or to get get invaded. And I know that not everybody wants to do that, but that's why there was always a toggle to toggle if you wanted to get invaded in the previous two games. But Extraction on the other hand was actually really, really fun. There are some really sweaty players that play Extraction, but it is, it's really fun. I've been finding myself playing it all day, and that's something that I definitely recommend. I love Extraction. It's got nuance, and it honestly fits Watch Dogs Legion better than Invasion. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on the Darcy Assassin's Creed crossover, as well as Resistance Mode, Extraction, and Invasion. Are you going to buy the Season Pass? Have you thought about it? Let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.